Other drivers and patrol cars were all slammed into by this vehicle in a high speed chase. And tonight there's a manhunt for the convicted felon that troopers say was behind the wheel of that car. Channel 9's Dave Faraday broke news of the chase this morning and he spoke with some of those drivers who now have thousands of dollars in damage to their cars. Dave. Scott, if you look behind me, you can see one of the crash scenes here along Highway 64 south of Morganton. Let me step over the camera real quick. I'm just going to push in right there. Those skid marks that you see, that is where the suspect crashed into someone else's car. For folks who live in Morganton, you know the interstate's about two miles off in this direction. That is where speeds reached 110 miles per hour. I think he had to get me here first. Then it kind of maybe knocked me sideways. Charles Worley showed us some of the damage to his car. He says was struck twice by the suspect, causing him to spin out and wreck a short distance from his home. Just like a blink, you know how a wreck is. They happen so fast. But I knew when my car went around like that and I got stopped. The highway patrol says they were trying to stop this car after they clocked it for speeding along Interstate 40. They say the driver, Tyler South, has been arrested numerous times. They scrolled through some of his mugshots today. Inside his car, investigators say they discovered meth, heroin, and marijuana after he wrecked into this parked car along Highway 64. South tried to get away, but jumped out while the car was still moving before it struck two highway patrol cars. Lucky somebody didn't get killed, you know. The speed like that's the worst thing in the world. The highway patrol brought in tracking dogs, but have been unable to locate Tyler South. They identified him as the driver after he left his cell phone behind before running off. 28 year old grown man um, need to consider, you know, not only your safety, but the safety of other people out here. Um, we know what you did. We checked this afternoon and Tyler South currently has 12 different charges pending against him. Fortunately, no one was hurt in all this, Scott.